Hey, it's Cool here if you don't know, and it is time for a brand new long run playthrough. And uh, this is one that I have kind of been looking forward to for a while. Um, we, uh, if you haven't been around for the long run previously, we just finished the Zero Escape trilogy, which varying degrees of um, quality there, going right down to what the fuck even is this at the end. But um, today we are playing a game that I am definitely not playing blind. Um, it is a game that is very near and dear to my heart. And it is something that... I think everyone's going to have some fun with. Let's get it started up so y'all can see. As long as it starts up. There it is. Radical fish. We're playing cross code. And uh, silly me, I forgot to plug in my controller. I don't think it will work if I plug it in afterwards, so I'm gonna have to actually restart the game. Hooray for me, I am a genius. That's probably for the better, Jason. But I wasn't lying when I said that someone has blue hair. As you can clearly see, our main character or on the right side there, who we've yet to meet, has blue hair. Oh, did I plug it into the wrong friggin' place? <laughs> Not the correct cord at all. Well, it wouldn't be a, a proper Coolio stream if something didn't go wrong. Will it just work out of the box? Yes, it will. Okay. So as you as you can probably guess, well I've already finished this game, but we're not gonna do a new game plus. We're just gonna do a standard new game. But yes, uh, this game has variable difficulty. You can change the difficulty at any point. Um, I think you can only make it easier though, you can't make it harder, but anyway, I wasn't going to make it harder anyway. You kind of can make it harder if you're doing it on a new game plus, but anyway. Cross Worlds. Endo Chan. No, you can hear me. Where is he? Shiska, I have to ask you to leave. So you're keeping him here? What do you think you're doing? Time is running short. We don't have a choice. So you abduct a dying person and let him work until his last breath? Is that it? I'm going to talk some sense into him. Don't get in my way. Shiska, please don't do this. I'm sorry, but I can't let you go any further. Really? Uh, let's see. You have to get used to these controls a little bit again. You play with your feet. 
You will have to do better than that. You know this is what he wants as well. Sure, you'd like to think that. You won't listen. Cold base, how very creative. Weak to heat, how surprising. Almost there. You interrupt him, all of his hard work will be lost. Don't do this! So, it never should have happened in the first place. Okay, this is it. You don't know when to stop, do you? Just watch. You can throw as many enemies at me as you like. The level threshold doesn't exactly work in your favor. Matashi! Sister. What do you think you're doing? You are in no condition to do this kind of work now. All you should do is rest. Why should I rest when I'm way beyond recovery? I need to finish this work. Final task. I told you about the agreement. I finish this, and they will let you go. No, I don't want this. Satoshi, stop it. It is done. No! She's got... Sorry. So sorry I got you involved in this. Just promise me that you will get away. Please. Uh, there you go, that should be. You know how that is. There you are, initialization success. Oh, is the speech synchronization malfunctioning? Um, well, something had just had to go on. But you, you understand me, correct? Okay, we'll make it work somehow. You are probably confused about this situation, correct? Alright, let's just take small steps. You, you are a member of the RP. Virtual hacker shape uh, projectiles? Balls? Okay, you seem to remember. Carla, we are ready. Please initiate, please initiate the, the training sequence. The RPs are your most essential tool in the market. They are basically like bots. Your task is to hit all these robots with the RP. So, give it a shot. Well, I have no, that's all. Yeah. Nice work. Well, just to be sure, let's just repeat this exercise with an extended distance. Something particular about the VIPs will not. The uh, uh, will not fall to the ground. Uh, you know me, I get tongue tied sometimes, and the passive text in this game 
doesn't really stop for anything. I will do my best. Very good. Okay, that, that's, next I just enable the charge mode. You activate charge reappears by by aiming for a longer time. Let us practice hide the So I'm just gonna do this. Oh that was quick. I suppose I talked too much again. <laughs> Our main character's expression is one of the high points of this game, I'm gonna be honest. Anyway, enough practice would be obvious. It's about time we put you down on your feet. Fella, we are done here. We can terminate the flotation sequence. Hey there, girl! Welcome to our co cozy cargo hold. My name's Carl. Nice to meet you. You sure are a quiet one. Apparently there is an issue with our speech synchronization. She still understands us. No way. Is there a way to fix it? I do not know yet. I will have to look into it. Anyway, I'm sure we'll be able to understand each other somehow. Not verbal communication, you know. Atta girl. Bill, kinda would like to know your name. Sergey, can you help us out here? Hi, right. my name is Leah. Yeah, well, ain't that sweet. Well then, Leah, ready to get up? We gotta get you ready for what's coming. Ball her and like, you know? And I got just a thing prepared for you. Follow me. And yes, we can save the game. So I'm gonna go ahead and create a new save for us here. Leave through and go when you're ready. Yeah, I have played this game a lot. Alright, let's get started. You're tasked to reach the door at the other end of this room. And don't mind me. I'll just stick around and keep an eye out. Oh, I might give you some hints. Yes, yeah, nicely. Oh yeah, never mind the visor. I just need this to see what you're doing. Don't worry about it for now. We will explain it to you later on. So, basically jumping in this game, you can't, like, there is no jump button. You have to push up against a uh, jumpable object like this, and Liel will jump on the road. And then going off of the lunch, uh, she will jump there too. Uh, orange walls, uh, you can throw things um, through them. shot. A little bit of puzzling going on here, but nothing too exciting for now. There we go. Entering the next stage, more switches await. I'm not going to spend too much time talking to most NPCs. Um, especially Carlo, there's, there's a lot that can just easily be demonstrated by doing the thing. See, these, these you have to charge up. Girl, you sure are natural with that ball thing. Carlo, they are called VIPs, not the ball. Oh, come on, no one calls them that anymore, you know? Unfortunately, yes. Well done! Yeah, that was all. It's a small room. 
Ha, yeah, finally. This is my favorite. You can go wild on these robot mice. Move in target practice. Have fun, girl. Unfortunately, we don't currently have a, um, an actual weapon um, equipped, so we can't just splash at them. Also, we don't really need to worry about hitting Carla. Uh, VRPs will pass up right through her. And there's a reason for that, which will be explained in a short bit. Moving on. to the Rats Fortress, standing up and standing and penetrated for centuries. Apparently someone had a fun time putting these together. We'd let spoil the movie. Well, slow down there, girl. Just a short warning. You'll, here you'll meet your first real enemies. And by real, I mean th those things will in fact attack. Don't get me wrong, they're really easy, but still. If you do get beat down, your respawn point is right in this room. Um, that means there's no real danger. Go ahead and kick some ass. Ah, just a moment. Let me enable the dash module before we stop the battle. Dash is essential in battle since... The since it helps you to quickly dodge enemy attacks at any time. Right he is. Now please enter the please enter to the right in order to proceed with the ass taken. Alright, good luck in there. Good advice. Hit him with charge balls can cancel their attacks. You see how they turned red there, they were charging up an attack. So by hitting them with the charge shot, uh, I can interrupt them. Also, one, another thing that will interrupt them is just, you know, defeating them. Yes, that was awesome, girl. Thirty, you weren't kidding, she's got a real knack for battle. She's really got a knack for battle. Yeah, that shell takes me back. Speed booster is authorized, lady. Hey, champ, get your adrenaline, your adrenaline down again for a second. You gotta have a little bit more edge to your arsenal. A sharp one, that is. I see you got. I see that got your attention. Sergey, you finished? Yes. Unlocking virtual proximity impact now. Great, with those close combat strikes called PPI, you can quickly tear through several targets in your path at once. Only oh, even close ones, of course. You got that? Sharp as a blade. Let's start by clearing that path for us, will you? Wait there for another second. Yeah, yeah, no, second and wait is. Is, the second weighted is an attack wasted. So you should know this, that your strikes have enough punch to interrupt some attacks. So you can just pummel your opponents without giving, giving them a chance to strike back. Sounds like a plan, am I right? So go get it. Closing facts and whack them over the head. Nice move, so they didn't even see it coming. Come on, show me your rifle. In the look. Turns up DPI was not modeled at the top. Such smarty pants. And another victory for our fearless gra gladiator, Lily uh, Leah. Look at all these cowards getting up against 
Don't panic, just keep moving, striking fast. Amazing work. Numbers sure can't beat skill. And you just crossed the finish line. Congrats. Seriously, girl, that was quick. Like you never forgot the basics at all. Oh my, you still look so puzzled about all this. I suppose it is time we explain all the all the stuff fuck him said. You bet it is. Let's take a short break for that, okay? I still need to report to the captain. He wants to meet Leah as well. Good idea. Best not to keep Jet waiting for too long. Come on, Leah, right this way. Alright, up to the bridge. Oh yeah, Leah, just a heads up. Captain's kinda grumpy, but don't worry about it. That's just the way he is. Yep, I'm back with the report. I see. Go on. The initiation? Total cinch. Here's the avatar. Name's Leah. I ought to miss that last. Hope you didn't hunt into anything with those horns though. <laughs> Wait, don't tell me you didn't notice the horns till now, Leah. <laughs> Anyway, make sure you clean up that messy stuff and then come down the call cargo hold soon. Yes, cat. I hope Saga is satisfied. Is he a hound? Yeah, just give me a sec to set up your headset. Hello, Belgian. My good man, it's been a long time. Indeed. <laughs> Indeed. You're still picking up the bad jetpack, I see. You never know. You know I never never travel to see you back with old Betty. Anyway, I hope you two will uh, be ready to travel on soon. Having a dumb avatar on board is just calling for trouble. Of course, we will make this as brief as possible. Gee, Cap, I can't well think that's supposed to be. Guys, ain't we, ain't we talking to Jet, former VRP dueling champ? You keep telling us all about your combat moves from the old days. But here I thought maybe you'd want to give Leah a small combat. You'll tell me that we lost the for a battle? No, well, you bet she is. Alright, we'll see about that. Just talk to me later, later today. Wait? Now then, you're dismissed. You should have left the last around the ship, but don't. You still have to travel. Alright, Captain. Come on, Leah, it's time for some fresh air. Welcome aboard the MS Thor. By the ship, huh? The view here is nice, but you gotta see us beyond the bow. Currently steering towards Rama Square. That's something to look at. Uh, which girl? You mean Carla? I, I don't think I've been giving her a Scottish accent. I've been giving Jet a Scottish accent because that's what it is. Actually, why not? Uh, why not go to the bow and, uh, and explain the situation to the other? Whatever, I get mixed up sometimes. I don't know right now. Being home a square will, uh, will make it easier for her, for her to understand, correct? Hey, good thinking, Sergey. Oh, Amelia. Here she is, the Avatar. She's a experimenter class? How often is that? Looks like you got your first fan, Leah. Hey, hey there, Carla. Good to see you. Got all these strange boxes here. Yeah, I know. I'm supposed to clean that up. But right now, I have to take care of the avatar. Huh? I'll do it in a bit, okay? See you later. There she goes again. She said exactly the same thing yesterday. Bear man, sir. So awesome. 
How's this way? It's a bit of a walk though. Just follow me. Ah. I I might occasionally just not read off the passive text. Especially if I'm in battle. But uh it's there for you to uh to enjoy. Now girl, have a look at this. Okay, where to start? How about walking the crossworlds? One step at a time, girl. Leah, do you remember the concept of an, of an MMO? Alright. Now, crossworlds is, is like an MMO, just with, with one striking difference. The world of this game is not virtual. It, it is a hero. All players are remotely connected to, to this world through special avatars. These avatars have a physical, a physical form and are tightly connected to all five senses of the player. And you, Leah, are currently logged into this game as well. Oh, me? No, I'm not a player, I just work here. In fact, you're the only avatar in this whole ship. And that is correct. This cargo ship belongs to the maintenance staff of Cosmo. The actual game takes place in the line you see over there, the playground. The reason you are here, Leah, is because you are not a regular player. You have lost your memory and we are trying to hack out. You see, you have been in this game before. Being logged into this game, there is a chance you might remember your past. And that is why we will try to get you into the real playout soon. Yeah, in fact, you'll be doing you'll be going to that glass palace of the city over there. That's Rama Square. It's the where all players start. I wasn't talking for Carla, I was talking for Sergey. I think that's where the confusion was. Well, I guess it's cleared up some things at least, right? Alright then, I think this is a good time to split. I'm gonna go talk to the captain and probably set that combat lesson for you. Meanwhile, I can have a look around the ship if you like. Uh, Sergei is some brand of Slavic, and I'm not really sure exactly what. Hey, Smurfykins, welcome to Let's Play the World Live. Yes, ba basically. Basically, Sergei is something along the lines of Ukrainian, Russian, Slavic, something around there. I think it's closer to Irish? I've been playing in a Scottish, but... I don't know. That's... Matter of, uh, matter of opinion, I guess. I am doing alright. Hope you're having a, a good night. You can meet me in the cabin later. Till then, just make sure not to fall in the water, girl. By the way, Leah, I have a uh, closer look at the at those speech synchronization issues. Unfortunately, I do not think I will be able to fix them soon. However, I found a little worker. I might be able to hold code specific audio patterns into your speech. That means you'll be able to say something more. That should help a bit, right? So let's just try it out. Hi! 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 It works? That should, uh, that should help you start some conversations with the crew here. Greetings, Scarlet. Hope you're doing well on this night. I also hope you're here for a longer than five seconds. Um, now mostly I'm not going to stray from the path too much, but let's do this. Oh, Miss Avatar is back. Hey. Ooh, she talked to me. Hey, calm down there, fella. Anyway, Carla just passed by, and passed by us again. You told us that you could take care of all these boxes here. 
I mean, really, can you believe that woman? Now she's loading off her, her works on, on our guests. So well, she has a point. It's easy to destroy these boxes with your avatar, right? Awesome! Please, I want to see that! Well, no pressure, you know. You are our guest, after all. But you help us out a lot. So, will you destroy the boxes for us? Yes! Show us the boxes! Ooh, this is amazing! Well, it certainly works. Also, show us the balls. That sure is a sentence. Um, yeah. And I... Yes. There we go. Yeah, it, it is uh, it is complete, and they're not looking to make a sequel, at least not right now, which is a bit sad, but um, I am definitely going to get the next Radical Fish game, because this one's so good. All clear, truly amazing. I'm really surprised how quickly those balls are flying. What are you even talking about? I didn't see any balls. Only those boxes disappeared for whatever reason. Yeah, you need to wear these AR goggles to see them. The balls and their impact are all like virtual and stuff. I have finished this game before. Uh, really, the only the only goal is to show off this game. I don't have like any particular like achievements that I'm going for. I just want to share this game with. Uh, with my audience because I love it so much. Probably one of my favorite games of all time, if I'm gonna be honest. Let's see, so that's why I've been wearing these goofy glasses all day. Goofy? You know nothing about style, lady. You know, whatever. Anyway, thanks a lot for that. Yes, thank you so much, Miss Avatar. Just a little bit of a skill test, I guess. There's a lot of uh, flavor text that you can get from talking to everyone. I'm um, sorry to hear that, Joel, but uh, as always, you are always welcome to come by, and I completely went the wrong way. The dungeon races are not a joke, honestly. Like, even with New Game Plus, they, they can be a little tricky to get. Where is the door? Like, I'm just completely whipping here. Or is it just... Derp-a-derp. Alright. That's on me. Okay, where am I going? I got I I it's been a while since I've played, so um There we go. Hey! Whoa, you spoke! Is your voice finally back? I Hey, that ain't right. Her speech, uh, her speech, uh, her speech synchronization is still not functioning. It just pop coded, pop coded the word "hi" into the speech mode. And it's all she can say for now. I'm currently working on ad uh, adding more. I see. Mm, it's a start, I suppose. Anyway, the cap and I here have been playing out your combat train, girl. We're almost set, good to go, right? Hi, this is gonna be interesting. I'm off to my cabin for some final preparations. I'll be done in no time, so just stick with the cabin, okay? See you later. Ah, that sucks, Murphy King. 
Yeah, it's you, you gotta be on point if you're gonna beat. Uh, let's call her your rival for now. I I'll be back on the bridge. You can talk to me when you're heavy for the rest. Make sure you're prepared. I'll be expecting your full attention. You two over there. Make sure you clean up the, the galley after you're done, uh, after you're done cooking. Understood? Aye, aye, Captain. It's not like we forgot since the last time he told us. Yeah, wasn't that yesterday? I might completely massacre some of these accents. I'm doing my best. <laughs> there you are. It's about down time for your combat. You heavy? Good. Let's go to the balcony. Good. Here we are. Carla, you heady up there? Yes, cat. Don't forget the goggles. Hey. I haven't rolled these for some time. Alright then. Time to stop. I was told you learned the, the basic down in Carla. Still, first I want you to show me a hip and on aiming and throw. Carla, prepare the target lot. And say hello to an old friend. Listen carefully. I want you to hit that robot from this distance ten times. And do it quickly, got that? I see you understand the basics well enough. I'll make things easier. Carla, we need that to help now. Time to turn on old Betty. This will be packed in the dash. The turtle will now start shooting at you. I want you to do two things. First, keep your aim on the turret, but don't throw anything. So I can dodge the turtle's bullets without you losing your aim. Alright then, let's start. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ah, too early. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know it's possible to do both of these things at the same time. I'm just kind of rusty at this game. It's been a while. There we go. Let's walk. Now for dodging. Now it's time to handle this attack loss. What the heck was that? Don't you know how to do a down guard loss? Actually, Jet, as a matter of fact, she does not. I forgot that I can hit her gold module. Delga, are you serious? You can't put that last in the battle without, without the proper shield? Yes, I will take that height. Good. Now you have your shield. You need, to, need an introduction on how it works? Ivan, listen closely. Show me the, sh show me the shield. Good. Note that she will always only block the front. I was looking in the direction of the attack. And finally, you can even aim during guard. Blow with it, with it one. Not the basics. Good. Now it's time to the attack to block his formal ball, right? There it goes. It's trying to be a perfect guard there. You saw that there was a. Uh, a P shield that uh, that uh, blew out of that. That's a perfect guard, and if you can manage to do that, you negate all damage from that attack. Very good. That's all the bases I can teach you for now. Now, how do everything up? Let's have a pop-up battle against the turret. We can uh, use everything you've learned. Now there'll be a little surprise waiting for you. I'll let you take take a short breather. Talk to me when you're ready. So, you ready for the battle? That's what I like to hear. Let's let the, the, the battle begin.
Sorry to interrupt, but you're needed on the bridge right now. Close them out. Something is broken. Get them quickly. Bloody darn diamond. Sorry, that. So we have to stop here. Duty calls. Carla, you clean up the balcony first and come to the village after all. Understood. We really have no idea what's going on here, but it'd be better for you, for you to go inside too. Still on the radar, approaching us at high velocity. Transmission, but not shit to see what's going on here. Captain, I think I got it on satellite. Yeah, see this. I gotta see Scarlet sending me a gift. Oh, okay. I will show that off in a bit. Thank you. I don't know if I have to restart the game to show that off, though. What a peculiar location we have here. The down cargo ship, you devil! It looks like something jumped hides out the Cosworlds. The ship is not part of the bloody playground. So don't be a nuisance and get lost. We are aware of the nature of this place. Yet we perceive the presence of another misplaced individual. That's none of your bloody business. Get off the ship and back to the game where you came from. Foolish mortal. Do you, do you truly believe we will abide by your command? You just call me a mortal in that case. You better leave right now or I'll be glad to tighten your grip on reality. You force. We choose to no longer converse with the likes of you. Besides, my search has already been concluded. Hi. You. You do not belong here. You need to be removed. Huh? Wait. You seem all too familiar. What? It can't be. Indeed, it might be a mere coincidence. Oh, but we most definitely have a way to be certain. What a convenient stage we have here. Now it is time to face your trial. Let us see if you are the genuine article. The display of your talent shall suffice as proof. There, do you hear me? I'm just as confused about this whole situation. Shit, sit, sit, <coughs> this whole situation as you are. It is certainly a mess, but we shall get you out. Well, now take on this challenge and keep invisible. I know this enemy looks intimidating, but do not lose hope. I'm confident you'll be able, you'll be able to handle this. Because I can see his battle stats. They match your level. Well. A pretty simple boss to start with. Also, interesting concept that you actually start with a boss before doing any actual enemy fighting. And not the only game to do that, obviously, but it doesn't happen very often.
I like how I was able to climb up there before um, the thing came down. Demon hamburger crab. And that gave us a level up. Hmm. Thing motion. One cannot find it twice in this world. Truly, there is no doubt about it. When was the last time we have laid eyes upon you? You within your incomplete vessel. Yes, you have our utmost interest. You will come with us. Greetings <laughs> from the soul that fits your pile of instant matter. Was this your divine powers can handle a, power, a proper explosion? By you. It's preposterous. Okay, lass, you need to get off this ship right now. Carla, get head back to the teleport house as fast as possible. And tell me when she's off the ship. I'll make sure no trace of possible is left on my ship. Get it, cat. Follow me, girl. Well, well, our endeavor has not been concluded. You will not escape our will. You already caught up? There, these are high level folks. Do not fight them. Go home to the teleport. You can sense your fear. Your every step. Your escape is futile. Yeah, these guys are like... Oh no, you don't! Jump over the container, girl! Yeah, these guys are like level 40 or some crap like that. So, yeah, don't fight. Just run. Damn, how are we gonna pass this one? Wait, I got an idea. And that's why. Let's try that one again. Yeah, I was a little impatient. Carla, instant matter builder at your sir. Here we are again. Time for you to leave this party. Come on, sweetie. This isn't the time for tearful goodbyes. Besides, there are those guys. Goodbye, Leah. Enjoy Crossworlds! Woo! You darn pile of instant matter! Stop putting your trash all over the ship! This ain't gonna go nowhere! Yet we didn't. But he almost got us. In fact, he did get us the one time. There are probably some enemies left down in the cargo. Putting even more trash in my cargo hold? Okay, that's it. Play time is over. Who? Activate the neutralizer. You're meddling with, a fit with matters that are not of your concern. This is my ship. That was like you messing with my ship on, on the bloody top of my list of concern. I said it before and I say it again. This cargo ship is not part of the bloody playground. What the hell was that all about? We did it, Leah. Still cannot believe what just happened on the MSO. Anyway, we are now in the official player. The area is packed with all kinds of security measures. No interference for that blue individual is highly unlikely here. Well now, let's, let's just proceed. This is on the square. 
for more precisely, Newcomer's Bridge. This is the official introduction to Castle. Place to hide in front of the last spot. It's important that we do this the official way to avoid suspicion. Ah oh, yes, speaking of suspicion, listen to me. It's absolutely essential that you pass the head you have played. We must avoid being reported at any cost. I... Ah yes, you do not worry too much about your speech signalization issues. You are in fact not the first player with these problems. Anyway, just be careful, okay? It's not on con. Most of these players should be newcomers just like you. Veterans usually skip this part, obviously. Pardon, didn't see you there. Hey. Um, bonjour. You are new here, too? <laughs> you are new here, too? Hmm, but I have not noticed you up here before. Oh, does that mean you caught up after me? Oh, you must be very quickly for the tutorials. But I got the hang of it now, too. You will not beat me on this last tutorial stage, no. Meet at the end. I will be waiting. Oh, wow. Very competitive, this one. Um... Actually, I don't think I'm going to be able to show off what uh, Scarlet just sent me until I get access to my submenu. That's French, not Canadian. She is she is from France, not Quebec. I'm sure I'll never see him again. It's fine. Oh, they added a welcome sign. Very hospitable. We are looking for that head, pe that head, head pentapus from before. I am afraid you will not find him here. You see, each player is placed in a separate instance of the room. You will find plenty of puzzle puzzles ahead. You really would not want other players to interfere. So it is all about who will be fastest by themselves, right? Alright, I will be going for a couple minutes. I will contact Jet and Kawa and try to investigate that blue new vision. I'm sure you'll be fine by yourself. See you later. Hi. I really have to work on your vocabulary. She's not from Quebec, she's from France. Girl, please. Let's see. Okay, so we have to hit these three boxes. And that switch. And I'll turn that on. We can do this. There we go. Now, test of our fighting skill. Two to hold to open the quick menu. Consume items, open the map, check the environment, and something else we don't have access to yet. Three sandwiches and two green leaf teas. Sandwiches are your basic healing item in this game. There are definitely others, but that's the most ubiquitous one.
Yeah, so that opens up these two paths. just jumped into the pit of my own bitch. Because why not? Oh, come on, really? Oh, my... Wow, how did I make that? Okay, cool. So, no matter how quickly you go through this dungeon, um, I am back. Hi! Everything's from Jet and Cal. Everything's back to normal on the MS Cola. There are no traces left of that blue individual. I also tried to find some information about him, but there's nothing. I can be pretty certain he is not connected to the official game. I just cannot imagine a regular player leaving households and going on a hampage like this. Ah, accents are heard. Something very strange is going on here. Not to, not to mention that he recognized you. The memory might, in fact, contain some answers to all this. Anyway, there is no need to worry about this right now. Our goal is simply to play, to play Coswell. I see you made a, a lot of progress already. So, onward. Character menu activated. Press select to open the character menu. Inventory and select favorite items, equip items, all that fun stuff. And here's some equipment to get us started. Rookie hat, rookie blades, rookie boots, and rookie belts. 
Now, we actually have to equip these. They are part of the sub quest that we are currently on. There we go. And now that I'm here, I should, if it's available, Maybe I can't. I might only be able to do this once uh, I restart the game. So, after break, I guess. It is downloaded, but uh, yeah, I probably do have to restart. Oh, hey, I need stuff to give it to you for the time. Something you learn after playing for long enough. There are four attacks in a combo, but if you dash immediately after the fourth attack, then you can do another combo. Yeah, I'll, I'll hit you H level 3. This is Tage. I thought you were supposed to hit level 2 at this point. I suppose they may have added more enemies. I don't think Sergei noticed when we got a level up from um, beating that little boss. With hamburger crab, as, as uh, Scarlet would put it. And then do this. Yeah, no matter how quickly you finish this dungeon, your um, your new friend is. Um, going to beat you. Incoming. Dang it. Unfortunately, you can get interrupted from using items, which is less than ideal. And there is a cooldown for using items as well. This is supposed to be the first boss that you fight in Crossworlds. Or a mini boss, or whatever you want to call this. It's kind of a training boss. And it almost defeated us. Especially with the last 66 point of damage. Just so you know, Scarlet, I'm not going to respond to that smart assness. That's the last response you're getting from me, uh, from me for you calling her uh, Quebecan.
Ready for one big upgrade? Because what kind of MMO would this be? If it didn't have skill trees. Activate circuits using circuit points, each uh, earned with each level up. Now you notice it's assigning things automatically here. These don't stay assigned. We can. It's close enough, but she's from France, okay? And you can switch, you can switch like here. There's a branch that goes off in two different directions. You can only pick one of them, but you can switch them at any time for free. And now we get special points used for combat arts. And we'll get into that in a bit. Um, actually, let's go ahead and assign those circuit points. Uh, focus, attack, melee art, spin dance. Is this art? Dash art. Burn art. Burn art. There are different types of arts. And um, now that we have selected a melee art, when I get out of the screen, it's going to show us how to use melee arts. Press and hold R2 to charge the attack. And change your direction while charging. Release R2 again to execute the attack. Uh, basically, yeah, Scarlet. Uh, this is a um, very futuristic MMO. Um, it's, it's not anything like you die in the game, you die in real life. But it is the, the idea that you control an avatar. And this is not just an avatar in some virtual world somewhere. This is a real world with instant matter avatars running around. Leo, please wait a second. I have a little, a little upgrade for you as well. Finally man managed to add another wall to it, okay. Well, you know how it is. No shiny effects on me, just the upgrade. Here goes. Leah. I think you will need this one, since I will not be able to introduce you to, to other people anymore. Leah. Hi. 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 Leah. Hi. Leah. Hi. Hmm. Don't look at me like that. You know, it takes a long time to add me. It's a very involved process, actually. It's a manual ex extend your thought control module, essentially modifying a statistically generated code base by hand. Yes, it is very technical. The, control the technology to control av avatars is, well, complicated. That is a non statement. Anyway, the second world is done. I'll get work on the I will work on the next one to hide it. Yeah. It's real fictional people and real fictional danger. Yeah, more or less, yeah. Ha! Told you I would be fast. Hey. Whew. Oh, we. Well, wasn't that fun? I was very surprised by, th by that boss at the end. Pardon, I didn't even introduce myself. Je m'appelle Emily. Nickname? Emily Nata. I know, this is genius, right? So, um, what's your name? Leah. Leah, nice to meet you. So, are you ready, are you, are you ready to take the sky oils? Oh, 
wish we could already explore the city itself, but no. Didn't you know? This guy here will take you straight to Cross Central. From there, you'll be transported to the main. You'll only be able to enter Hamburg Square much later. Yeah, it sucks, I know. You over there! Yes, you, the blue haired spheromancer! Me? Eh? Before, you just uh, you just appeared out of nowhere. Suspicious. And what do I see now? You are at level 4. And this is unheard of. I'm forced to assume you, young lady, have been cheating. <laughs> what? Unless you're going straight for the accus accusations, how can you be so sure about it? Just because you're stuck at level 3 doesn't mean impossible. No player on record has ever reached level 4 at this point. Young lady, sure, surely I don't need to explain to you the fault of such action. Cheating will never pay off in the long run. Hey, Is that all you have to say? Oh dear, what is going on here? Jordan, I've, I've exposed the she- I've exposed the cheater here. And now you're lecturing. Yes, about the wrongness of her actions. How about... What? I'll just go ahead and pretend I don't. Come on! Apologies for my friend. He sometimes pretends to be a moderator. He is not. Mm, no problem. <laughs> now maybe I'll let you off this time. Reflect on your actions. Yeah. What was the deal with him? I hope we don't meet players like this um, around here more, uh, too often. Anyway, let's go on. I finally want to reach Ricky Har Harbor. You can come with me if you want to. And yeah, let's go. Oh, my heart just stopped there for a second. That was close. It's all because you collected those extra things from that cab box. Should have noticed this earlier. Oh, the yeah. outside. Okay, well, let's get going. Also, we did not have the um, the option to name our character or anything. She is just simply named Leah. That was fun. Can't I, can't wait to reach the mainland. Voila, the cross central. You can quickly reach all of Cosmos. Well, there should only be one destination for us, maybe. Hokey Harbor. Ready? This way. So now we have the landmarks. So by accessing our map, we can teleport to landmarks uh, on the map like that. Switch to the world map view there. And visit other places we visited before. Fantastique! Right at the sea, just like they said. The city should be right up ahead. Go, go! Over here. What are all these old style buildings? It's like we are in some kind of medieval fantasy world, no? So right now I'm, I'm waiting, waiting here to meet the friend. I've seen him so far. There are just so many people here. Oh there ho! Ha 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 ha! was that really necessary? Yes, very necessary. I see you brought a friend. Ah, oh, we, that's Leah. I met her in the tutorial. And this dark little mini here is Lucas, also known as Schneider. Nice to meet you, Leah. 
So you finally reached the croissant. Right? Having fun so far? Oui, énormément. Wait, croissant? The mainland. You'll get the idea once you see the map. Anyway, this is Rocky Harbor. It's known for, uh, for the incoming shipments of Rockies like you. It's also a fairly big place, which tends to be uh, confusing for several people. So I thought I'd give you a small tour. Have you? Lead the way. First, the info building. If you really want to dig in, if you really want to dig into all the details of crosswords, now uh, this is your place. Combat arts, skills, all the stats from A to Z, you name it. Oh, that's the mail hub, right? Yeah, people call it that. Frankly, it's just a good uh, good thing to know about all that stuff. But it's not mandatory. It's just a place to come back, you know, to, to go back to whenever you're confused about something. Let's move on. By the way, a millionaire? Nice one. I know. What Schneider supposed to mean? I'm a tie blader. I cut things. What? Not worth it. Not worth this thing. Alright, next stop, the town center. Oh, is that a market over there? Yep. You'll find most of the trade off and trade outs around here. Well, they're all over the place to be frank. Those traders offer pretty good equipment. The catch, you first need to collect all the required trade items into in the wild. It's time, but it's worth it. Further up is another important building, this way. Again, I'm probably massacring some of these accents. I'm doing my best. See that building up there? It's a seeker hub or quest hub. Surprise, you'll find a lot of quests there. Just like in many other places in town and elsewhere. All of these quests are optional, but the rewards usually make it worthwhile. Hey Leah, are you still with us? Lee, she's a quiet one. But she was really fast at the tutorial, almost beat me to it. Well, like they say, still watchers run deep, right? Wee oui, oui. wee. Uh, what about that main quest? They kept talking about the, tr the track of the ancients. Oh, right, I almost forgot about that. You'll have to enter the quest up anyway. There's a mandatory introduction for all new players. They'll explain all about it there. I suggest you go you go in right away and just get it over with. I'll just wait here. Dakar, let's go, Leah. Oh, such a crowded place. Mon dieu, look at this. Welcome to Operation Trackwalker, Herbert. This briefing serves as an introduction to the history of this place and the nature of our cause. We're currently located on the natural satellite Shadu. This place was once inhabited by intelligent life forms that we refer to as the Ancient. While the Ancient ceased to exist a long time ago, they left behind a technological heritage to be whole. The Truck of the Ancients. Originally, it served as an assessment of social standing within the Ancients' culture. It is a technological marvel, a highly advanced, self-sufficient system that remains intact to this day. It wasn't long, uh, after, it wasn't long after humankind arrived on Shadu that we realized its value. Thus, we initiated Operation Truck. We augmented the track so that humanity might walk it as well. And that is where you come in, Mayor Boot. Together with the other Seekers, you will start the journey along the track of the Ancients. Your path will be paved with obstacles, but every step you take will further our cause, discovering the secrets of the Ancients. Your main task, your main task will be to collect uh, the collection of the four elements, heat, cold, shock, and wave. Beginning with the element heat, your first destination will be the village of Burgundy. 
To reach it, you need to pass the western barrier of Rokihara. I will now give you your first shade, the Great New Passage to the West. Finally, I will give you the Disk of Insight. This, de this device will record all the knowledge you encounter on your journey. That is all. Good luck and stay vigilant. Wow, now that was funky. Suddenly I was in the middle of space and this old geezer kept talking to me. Then for you? I suppose they wanted to pep up the volume of production, huh? Wait, wait, the talk of the ancients it is! Let's go back. I guess it's waiting. By the way, Leah, I took the liberty of adding a few more entries to your encyclopedia. For example, all past events and people we have met so far. And a few insights on the technology. What? I just like to organize things. Hello, Tyrion. Hope you're doing well tonight. Sorry to hear that you don't, uh, they don't click with this game, but I mean, not every game is going to click with everyone. If you do choose to stick around, I hope that you enjoy the ride that I offer you guys. So, uh, this is quite honestly one of my favorite games of all time. Ooh. I might not, um, I might end up skipping over some of the text if I talk to, like, NPCs or other players or something. Speaking of other players, there was a, um, there was a, uh, Kickstarter reward that let people name characters in the game. And if you want to just sit around and discover all of these, there are a lot of different names here. Bertha Bogenhoff? Wilson the Cacti? They're naming the Cacti now, cool. Butter Sandwich. I'm, I'm not gonna stop and look at all of the names for everyone. But it is definitely a thing that you can do. So these are all, all of the uh, quests that are currently available uh, in and around Rookie Harbor. Uh, unfortunately you can't take them from here, but you can at least see that they are available and go find the person who gives it to you. Such as this guy right here. Greeting Seeker. I see that you've completed the introduction to Operation Trackwalker. Plus, you are now also qualified to use your abilities as a Seeker to assist the four factions in their duties. There are organizations that secure humanity's survival and prosperity through their special fields of expertise. More detailed information can be accessed in the channel behind you. For now, you should know that each faction has a subdivision in Rookie Harbor, like in every settlement. To better understand our society and your place in it, you should get introduced to all of them. For its purpose, I will now issue an official assignment. Please accept. So basically just introducing yourself to the four factions, the Fall Divers, Rookie Harbor Guard, Coastal Trading Coalition, and Fruits of Autumn. Um, at some point, you will get to join none of them, which is kind of weird. <laughs> You would think that you would get to join something and get some bonuses, but for some reason, no. Good. This is the representative of every faction in Autumn's Rise and introduce yourself. Most of them can be found in their respective headquarters near the market or the western entrance. Though the HQ of the CTC is still inaccessible to new seekers, their ambassador can be found just outside this building. Once you've visited all of them, return to me to get your uh, your reward. And we can track quests with the quest menu. And focus a quest sees details. 
and you can press square to mark quests of the favorite. You can mark any number of quests. And cycle through the task of mark quest outside by um, press by pressing the L the left stick and right stick. Also, you might notice that um, I have the gamepad items set to DualShock. I'm not actually using a DualShock controller, I'm using a uh, Pro controller. But I figure if I'm going to be stuck with one of these two, I should probably just do DualShock so that I don't mix up my A and B commands. Let's be honest here. I still... It, it still annoys me that um, they've swapped A and B, index and Y. They probably did it on purpose, to be honest. Ah, good day, Seeker. Pleased to meet you. My name is Mr. Nanzo, and I am a humble mate and mediative employee of the local trading association. Hi! Now, as you, as you might have already assumed, a man of my position is always busy brokering business agreements, big and small. Thus, there's always a need for helping hands willing to do some necessary legwork, or generous payment, of course. Just now, uh, just now I have an unresolved assignment by the pub for a delivery of mixed food and food. It requires collecting raw materials in the wild, trading them for the required items here in the market, and of course delivering them to my client. A rather simple, a simple task, beginning, uh, fitting for the beginning of a lucrative relationship. Okay, and I kind of your cooperation. Is a deal then. My client requires two fruit and veggie sets each and also a special spice set to boot. You can procure them right here on the central market near the fountain. For the exchange, you'll need raw trading materials from the various plants of Autumn's Rise. Uh, Microsofted on the Xbox controller. You know how uh, on an Xbox controller, Y is at the top, A is at the bottom? Yeah, it's uh, not like that on the uh, Switch Pro controller. <laughs> so how was it, Ia? Enjoy being in space? Well, now you should understand your task, being part of Crackwalker. Let's go to the west now. By the way, the uh, Sphere Mancer? That's surprising. They're pretty unpopular. Don't ask me why. They're fine, balanced. What about Pintafist? They're awesome, right? Yep, yeah, and I couldn't imagine you in any other class. Before I join them, I'm gonna go grab this class. Oh, there you go, lady. Could I interest, interest you in some cool and delicious ice cream? Yeah, the, you're probably right, Tyrion. Being a... Um... Let's be honest, the Xbox is basically Microsoft ripping off the Dreamcast. Well, unfortunately, we are out of stock. Right now. But if you bring me some fresh ice from Bergen Trail, I could pr I quickly produce new ice cream. So could you bring me some Bergen ice? About five pieces of ice. We'll accept this for now, but we won't be in Bergen Trail for a little while. Great. You can find Bergen ice in the snowy parts of Bergen Trail. Just keep, just continue to the west until you reach the mountain area. They seriously ask you to fresh ice from a distant mountain. What is this? Middle, the Middle Ages? Was your nickname in high school? <laughs> Finally, this is the western part of the town. In this shop, you can buy uh, consumable items. Further down, you'll find an armory with basic equipment. And you can, when you when you continue from the west from here, you'll enter Artem's Rise. You'll find a lot of enemies along, along the way. Be careful not to take on too many hedgehogs at once, or those guys will eat you for breakfast. Anyway, just follow that way to get to Bird. By the way, do you two want to form a party? Wee, that would be great, right, Leah? And you, Lucas? Will you travel with us too? 
I unfortunately have to leave you soon. Alrighty. Trust me, it's not that fun to, to travel around with a high level friend. Unless you don't care for the challenge. You can watch us take on those hedgehogs. Yep, that's a, that totally sounds like a lot of fun, doesn't it? No, really, I have to head back to the guild. There's just too much stuff going on. The crap will be steaming if I'm around for too long. I see, Monsieur Ting and is just too important for us to leave. Please don't be that way. You can set up a direct link if something comes up, but alright. Let's meet again once you reach Bergen Village. Come on, Mia. Let's do some leveling until we're worth the Dark Lord's the Dark Lord's the Dark Lord's attention. Oh, young. See you soon, Emily. And you too, Leah. Hi! Oh wow. Well. Ciao ciao! The duck one? I'm not really sure what you're talking about, Jason. Alright! Party time! So, what is the option? Are we? Voila! We have, we have just formed the party. Alright, let's head to Autumn's Eyes. Maybe looking for a quest in town? I'll let you decide later. This is so exciting! So, status of the party members is displayed here. We can change the behavior of the party with this menu. Social menu is unlocked. We can get some stats about Emily. And any future um, party members as well. And here's a trick. But right now we don't have any money for that, but um, occasionally when you come to talk to one of these equipment vendors, um, your party members will also take the opportunity to gear themselves up. But yes, literally the only things that Leah can say right now are hi and Leah. Howdy, partner. You sure look like a healthy gal who can appreciate a nice piece of meat. <laughs> I always sniff out good taste. It's like my special towel. My name's Salinity. Can I have grand plans to, to create the perfect taste for everyone to enjoy? I think that's what I want to do, but I still don't have the proper ingredients for that. And since I can't just leave the city and search for them, maybe you can help me with that. Girl, you are the best. Tell me amazing. You won't regret it. Anyway, I need some, I need some nice raw meat, of course. Bovines and autumn's rice should do nicely. Though though I heard you gotta have like a good brain to, to get some meat from them, whatever that means. And I need some firewood that brings up brings up the taste perfectly. I know all about the trees here, but best bring me some very light and also some sharp wood. Should be able to find both of them on a mountain somewhere. Good luck. And yeah, just to add to the um, to the depth of this game, you will occasionally have other players just having conversations. They absolutely don't care if you just stand there and listen to it. In fact, sometimes you can even interact with them. I'm not going to sit uh, and watch all of these, but just to give you an idea of the flavor text that is in this game, there's a lot of depth in this. Part of what, make this, what makes this game so good. Ah, Seeker graces the plain old city yard with her presence. Some time off for solving ancient mysteries, do you? Well, we could also use some help here in the city. One of our watchmen at the, at the market called for reinforcements a moment ago. Uh, those fancy track walking adventures, I suppose, but matters of inner security are not to be taken lightly either, yes. Yeah, I've never played a dot hack game, so I couldn't tell you for sure, but yeah. It's 
good to see a young seeker recognize the importance of even mundane tasks. You can find the guard, uh, you can find the guard in question in the central area of the marketplace near the seeker. Don't care about the problem to solve the case. So mostly right now we're just going to hang around town. Get acquainted with the factions and um, get some experience as well. Hey, Seeker! Nice to meet some valiant, fr uh, fresh blood around here. Hey! I'd love to do some bonding with a fellow explorer, but right now there's a problem with one of our jobs. Kukos has just finished a, a detailed geographical survey that's supposed to, be to serve as the basis for future expeditions. But then he had to get jumped by wildlife and lose the storage unit with uh, with all the data that care of that care of club. But since you're here, can you help us out with that? A seeker should be more than qualified for that kind of task. Very Stardew Valley vibe. Awesome! I'll transmit you the alleged location of the whole debacle, so you should be able to track that to track the ting the <laughs> track the ting down. Ah. Just remember to mind your instincts as a seeker, and you'll be back here enjoying my company in no time. Uh, I don't think there's anything down here right now. Except for this. Hmm, this looks important. Wondering about this chest. Hey, you can't open it yet. You'll be able to do it later in the game. Might want to add a stamp on your map and your map to remember it. In case you don't know what I mean, just have a close look at the map in here. Well, let's go ahead and introduce that, I guess. So, unfortunately, it doesn't tell you exactly where on the map that you are, which is silly. But let's say we're around here. So I can put a stamp right here, mark it as a chest that I can't get to yet, and I can put up to 99 of these on any given map. Yourselves, I see. Let's see. Yeah, the the map is also useful for figuring out which buildings you can go into, such as this one. Unfortunately, there's not a whole lot going on right here. Circuit overrides. These things are not cheap. We'll get one later. Yeah, I think this is an instance room. Must have good there's something good going on here, no? A new seeker in my dojo. Hmm. Not ready you are. Hmm. Come back when you mastered both heat and cold you have, yes yes. Okay, so let's go ahead and put a question mark here. I'm not sure exactly what reference you're making there, Jason. It's good to tag all of these uh, traders because 
Uh, tagging a trader will add them to your records. You can look at your trader book and see what everyone has to offer. And this will be useful information in the future. Metal Gear Rising Revenge and stuff. Man, I, I don't think I've ever played that game, and it's been a long time since I've seen it. Good day. Do you, ha do you by chance have any sandwiches for sale? Yep, only 2,500 credits. Should I wrap it? Should I wrap it up for you? 2,500 credits. I gotta go. Why did you always run away? My words are top notch, right? I made it quick. I think I'm gonna close soon and hit the bar. So yeah, this guy sells sandwiches for 2,500. They, no, they don't cost 2,500. So what's the best thing ever? Metal Gear Rising or Vengeance? There are a lot of traders here. I think that's all of them in this nearby vicinity, except for you. Maybe I did talk to you, I don't know. The day seeker. Are you the reinforcements I was promised? Finally, we got some really pesky thieves at the market lately, stealing from both the stands and customers. I just saw one committing theft at the stands, but he was gone before I could catch him. I have to remain here and keep watch, so it's up to you to catch him, understand? Great. I saw him running towards the small park in the southeast, so go and get that crook. And yeah, you can do a little bit of parkour here. That will definitely come into play later. Also, you notice I can't go over there where there is a chest. So by later, I mean right now. We're going to be doing some jumping to get that chest, I believe. There we go. Got some rice crackers. We don't have anything now. Okay. Mixes Vengeance nonsense with a high spectacle of platinum games action. Yeah, it's been a long time since I've even seen that game, so I honestly don't remember anything about it. Except that you pull out people's hearts and squish them to add to your own power. So right now, you'll notice this gate here. We try to go through it. Nope. We don't have the correct shade to get through that. That's how they get our room. Right now, I'm mostly just kind of looking around here. Um, there is a building over here. This one. Welcome to our garden, Seeker. I am Menzong. The chief woodkeeper of this branch. It is always reassuring to have your kind support to have your kind supporting our fruitful endeavors. Hi. In fact, your appearance comes at a fortunate time, as we have noticed unrest brewing among the thickets of Autumn's Rise. The sickness has befallen the trees in different locations and threatens the balance of the track in the entire region. Would you be able to, to assist us in stemming it before it can cause widespread harm? Excellent! I will give you some bottles filled with concentrated and fermented juice made from the fruits of our garden. 
It has proven in the past to be a beneficial, uh, it have a beneficial effect on the self-regulatory -regula instinct of the tribe. Use your instincts as a seeker to find the afflicted free you and treat them with the extra. It should suffice to cure uh, to cure the trees at this stage. Take care, young seeker. Also, when they say instinct as a seeker, they mean this thing. But while while you're in this mode, you'll see a little bit more uh, uh like important things are in the world, basically. You gonna give you booze? I don't like him. Oops. I'll figure out these controls eventually. You can get consumable items there. Here's the inn. Um, I believe that there's a story reason for the end, like earlier in earlier incarnations. Um, yeah, they're explaining it here. It's a ball recharger. From the first release, you actually had to recharge your balls. That yeah, looks like a Poké Center, don't you think? A nervous feeling. All right. So with that, it's going to be time to head off to adventure in a little bit. See here. In just a second, there we go. So, it is break time. Uh, so yeah, uh, I personally really need to use the bathroom. I don't know about you guys, but you can go do so if you'd like. Um, take a moment to stretch and go get a drink. Um, do, a, do whatever you need to do, and in about 10 to 15 minutes, we will head off to Autumn's Rise and, be, and properly begin our adventure with Emily. So, I'll see you in a bit. <laughs> 